Over the years, Doctor Who has featured a range of monsters and aliens from the far corners of the universe, and they're getting scarier and scarier. Now the Doctor has come face to face with his old enemies, the Cybermen. I've been given exclusive access to a location shoot for the latest series of Doctor Who. But not only that, they've given me a special part to play as well. I'm going to be one of the Doctor's arch enemies, a Cyberman. All right, let's... It was going to be a hectic night shoot, but there was still time to catch up with some of the stars of the show, starting with Andrew Hayden-Smith. What's it like to be a part of something like Doctor Who? It must be... really exciting, yeah. It's lived up to all the expectations, uh, running about like a little soldier. It's great fun. Have you learned any Welsh? I know one thing. Go on, then. Dr. Poi. But that's very clever, that's Dr. Doctor Who. What? That's very good. Thank you. Look who I've caught up with this Billy. Hello. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. Good stuff. Now listen, what's the next scene you're about to film? The next scene is we're out in the streets and we're discovering why uh, the Cybermen are taking over and, and the kind of effect that they're having on the human race. What are your feelings about Cybermen in general? Terrifying. Really? Mm, absolutely terrifying. David, how are you doing? Hey, I'm very well, Gethin. How are you? I'm very well. Thank Welcome you very to Doctor much. Who. Thank you very much. I'm good at the moment, but I'm about to be transformed into a Cyberman. So listen, have you got any tips? What? How can I scare you as a Cyberman? Give me some tips. Well, the Cybermen don't scare me, obviously. I mean, I'm well in control of, uh, of all the alien species that we come across. The Cybermen are, by their very nature, pretty chilling, though, really. You know, right. very emotionless. They were human beings, but they've been converted. But they've had so many spare parts added that now they're more machine than man. Well, you never know. The next time I see you, I might be chasing down the street. I look forward to it. Good luck. Yeah. Bye. I'll get him. Don't worry. Now, before I get into the role, I need to get into the costume. And hopefully, Rob's going to help me out with that. Rob, I'm here. I'm ready. Let's do it. Great. There you go. Exterminate. Oh, no, it's a dolly. Does it really take two people to put every Cyberman? Let's see, it's on. Yeah. Really? Okay. Two, three. Oh! <laughs> hey! You've got very tickly fake. I have got it. Who told you that? <laughs> well. Oh, no, I'm seriously dull. Don't tickle. Oh, man. I can't handle my feet being tickled. Okay, here we go. <laughs> These shoes are massive. They're like something Wallace might wear from Wallace and Gromit when he's doing one of his mad inventions. All the suits were kind of uh, moulded around a smaller size person. You are the maximum size of person we will try and squeeze into a suit. Really? So you will find it a bit more restrictive than the rest of the guys. Yeah. Is that it? Is it a no. Can't even nose. <laughs> No, I haven't got this on for the skies. It's actually quite chilly here at the moment, so I've just got it on to keep warm. But you will see the Cyberman outfit in its entirety in a minute. They'll definitely hear me before they see me. Listen. <laughs> I'm literally like a walking robot. Ready, good one up, and... Things were moving quickly, and the Cybermen were needed immediately, but I hadn't yet had a chance to learn what to do. You, have you practised? You're practised, aren't you? Uh, You're no. good? No? No. Can I put you in the next shot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that OK? I'm about to go for a take. I'm not in this room, because I'm just going to watch and learn and how they move and what the scene's all about. Hello, guys. So here they go. Watch them march. In the middle of the streets of Cardiff, there's Cybermen in the middle of nowhere. Cyberwolf to master, and I really did need to practice, but that wasn't the only. Uh, Hold it there. The director was shouting cut, but the Cybermen couldn't hear him, so they kept walking. Well, just try and keep us up, up, upright as you can, really. <laughs> Before I knew it, I was being put into the scene. Yeah. Then I'm going to switch you in. Right. Okay. Can you handle the pressure? I can handle the pressure. I'm ready. All right. Good. Yeah. And then it will go left, right, yeah. and then you'll step forward on your left to start so marching. And left, right, and stop marching. So and you just so walk so with your hands. Quick as we can, guys. Thank you. I have to say, this is the one bit. Doesn't look that comfortable. It looks really claustrophobic. 
Head up, please, Kev. Thank you. Oh, oh. Are you in? Yeah. You alright? Yeah. Go in. Is that in? Right, yeah. Go in. That's in both oh. sides. I'm going to hold on to the helmet. If you just try and move your head around on the inside. There you go, that's better. Is that alright? Yeah. Cool, fantastic. Okay. That is weird. I can only see the thing. So, so you, here we go, guys. This is the big moment. It's all happened very quickly. I can't see much out of this mask at all, and I can't breathe. But this is it. Guess as a Cyberman in Doctor Who. So, thank from you what, guys. From what, right now, from I'm not even going to give you a practice. One take, one day. Here we go. You'll be great. Okay, boys. Charlie. Action. I was being thrown in at the deep end, but this was just a taster of what I'd be doing later. It's very good. Very, very good. <laughs> that was great. That, that, was well well done. that was brilliant. So we're just going to yeah, tilt your head forwards. There oh. you go. <laughs> that was awesome. Well done. Oh, that's bare. What a relief. It happened so quickly, and it's only a short piece, but I feel a little bit under pressure with all the other. Happy? I hope so, anyway. Tell me how well I did. The producer. Hello. But before that, Phil, is it true that I've got. Yeah, a little brown one on the end, and I've most people uh, they have that when they take the mask off. It's so close to your face. Yeah, I you can hardly so. breathe in there. Is it claustrophobic? It is quite claustrophobic, yeah. Very uh, good fun. You did really well. I mean, the guys who were out with you tonight have been rehearsing with our choreographer for That's a good really? old few weeks now, yeah. So, uh, you did well. The time had come for the big scene, which involved all the Cybermen and a big group of supporting artists. With so many people involved, it meant the scene was much more complicated than the previous one. We're going to suck your brains out. I'm not really that bad. Sorry, humans. The humans aren't taking it very well, are they? Very happy. We're about to do the Cybermen are herding the humans. where they'll be turned into Cybermen themselves. Better get ready. <laughs> I'm a bit out of breath. And the fact there's hardly any to the mask. It's good fun though. Really, really good fun. Finally, everyone was ready to go for it. All the hard few see if you can spot which Cyberman is Jones.